Hello everyone, welcome back to the Christian Prodigy. So today we are finishing up the book of Exodus by going over Exodus 39 through 40. So let's get right to it. Chapter 39, the priestly garment. From the blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, they made woven garments for ministering in the sanctuary. They also made scarce garments for Aaron as the Lord commanded Moses the ephod, I believe. They made the ephod of gold and of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn and of fine linen, finely twisted linen. They hammered out thin sheets of gold and cut strands to be worked into the blue, purple, and scarlet yarn and fine linen, the work of skilled hands. They made shoulder pieces for the ephod which were attached to two of its corners so it could be fastened. Its skillfully woven waistband was like it of one piece with the ephod and made it and made with gold and with blue, purple, and scarlet yarn and with finely twisted linen as the Lord commanded Moses. They mounted the onyx stones in gold filigree settings and engraved them like a seal with the names of the sons of Israel. Then they fastened them on the shoulder pieces of the ephrod, ephrod or whatever it is, as memorial stones for the sons of Israel, as the Lord commanded Moses. The breastpiece. They fashioned the breastpiece, the work of a skilled craftsman. They made it like an ephrod of gold and of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, and of fine, finely twisted linen. It was square, a span long and a span lie, wide, and folded double. Then they mounted four rolls, four rows of precious stones on it. The first row was carnelian. Uh, I don't know all these rows, all these names. So I'm going to just skip to the end of it. They were mounted in gold filigree settings. There were 12 stones, one for each of the names of the 12 sons of Israel, each engraved like a seal with the name of one of the 12 tribes. For the breastpiece, they made braided chains of pure gold like a rope. They made two gold filigree settings and two gold rings and fastened the rings to the two corners of the breastpiece. They fastened the two gold chains to the rings at the corners of the breastpiece, and the other ends of the chains to the two settings, attaching them to the shoulder pieces of the ephod at the front. They made two gold rings and attached them to the two corners of the breastpiece. On the inside edge next to the ephod, then they made two more gold rings and attached them to the bottom of the shoulder pieces on the front of the ephod, close to the seam just above the waistband of the ephod. They tied the rings of the breast pieces to the rings of the ephod with blue cord connecting it to the waistband so that the breast piece would not swing out from the ephod as the Lord commanded Moses other priestly garments. They made the robe of the ephod entirely of blue cloth, the work of a weaver, with an opening in the center of the robe like the opening of a collar, and a band around this opening so that it would not tear. They made a pomegranate. They made pomegranates of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn and finely twisted linen around the hem of the robe. And they made bells of pure gold and attached them around the hem between the pomegranates. The bells of pom and the bells and pomegranates alternated around the hem the hem of the robe to be worn for ministering, as the Lord commanded Moses. For Aaron and his sons, they made tunics of fine linen, the work of a weaver, and the turban of fine linen, the linen cap caps and the undergarments of finely twisted linen. The sash was made of finely twisted linen and 
blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, the work of an embroider, as the Lord commanded Moses. They made the plate the scarce em emblem out of pure gold and engraved on it, like the like an inscription on a seal, holy to the Lord. Then they fastened a blue cord to the, to it to attach it to the turban, as the Lord commanded Moses. Moses inspects the tabernacle. So all the work on the tabernacle, the tent of meeting, was completed. The Israelites did everything just as the Lord commanded Moses. Then they brought the tabernacle to Moses, the tent, and all the furn all its furnishings, its clasps, frames, crossbars, posts, and bases, the coverings of the ram's skins dried lit red, dyed red, and the covering of another durable leather, and the shielding curtain, the Ark of the Covenant Law, with its poles and its atonement cover, and the atonement cover, the table with all its articles and the bread of the presence, the pure gold lampstand and its rows, its row of lamps and all its accessories, and the olive oil for the light, the gold altar, the anointing oil, the fragrant incense, and the curtain for the for the entrance to the tent. The bronze altar with its bronze grating, its poles and its all and all its utensils, the basin with its stand, the curtains of the courtyard with its posts and bases, and the court curtain for the entrance to the courtyard, the ropes and the tent pegs uh, for the courtyard, all the furnishings for the tabernacle, the tent of meeting and the woven garments worn for ministering in the sanctuary, both the scarce garments for Aaron the priest and the garments for his sons when serving as priests. The Israelites had done all the work just as the Lord had commanded Moses. Moses ins inspected the work and saw that they had done it just as the Lord had commanded. So Moses blessed them. Chapter 40, Setting Up the Tabernacle. Then the Lord said to Moses, Set up the tabernacle, the tent of meeting, on the first day of the first month. Place the Ark of the Covenant law in it, and shield the Ark with the curtain. Bring in the table and set out what belongs on it. Then bring the, in the lampstand and set up its lamps. Place the gold altar of incense in front of the Ark of the Covenant law, and put the curtain at the entrance of the, of the tabernacle, to the tabernacle. Place the altar of burnt offering in front of the entrance to the tabernacle, the tent of meeting. Place the basin between the tent of meeting and the altar and put water in it. Set up the courtyard around it and put the curtain at the entrance to the courtyard. Take the anointing oil and anoint the tabernacle and everything in it. Consecrate it and all its furnishings and it will be holy. Then anoint the altar of the burnt offering of burnt offering and all its utensils, consecrate the altar and it will be most holy. Anoint the basin and its stand and consecrate them. Bring Aaron and his sons to the entrance to the tent of meeting and wash them with water. Then dress Aaron and in the scarce garments, anoint him and consecrate him so he may serve me as priest. Bring his sons and dress them in tunics. Anoint them just as you anointed their father, so they may serve me as priests. Their anointing will be to a priesthood that will continue throughout their generations. Moses did everything just as the Lord commanded him. So the tabernacle was set up on the first day of the first month in the second year. When Moses set up the tabernacle, he put the bases in place, erected the frames, inserted the crossbars, and set up the posts. Then he spread the tent over the tabernacle and put the covering, covering over the tent as the Lord commanded him. He took the tablets of the covenant law and placed them in the ark. Attached the poles to the ark and put the atonement cover over it. Then he brought the ark into the tabernacle and hung the shielding curtain and, and shielded the ark of the covenant law as the Lord commanded him. 
Moses placed the table in the tent of meeting on the north side of the tabernacle, outside the curtain, and set out the bread on it before the Lord as the Lord commanded him. He placed the lampstand in the tent of meeting opposite the table on the south side of the tabernacle, and set up the lamps before the Lord as the Lord commanded him. Moses placed the gold altar in the tent of meeting in front of the curtain and burned fragrant incense on it as the Lord commanded him. Then he put up the curtain at the entrance to the tabernacle. He set the altar of burnt offering near the entrance to the tabernacle, the tent of meeting, and offered on it burnt offerings and grain of offerings and grain offerings as the Lord commanded him. He placed the basin between the tent of meeting and the altar and put water in it for washing. And Moses and Aaron and his sons used it to wash their hands and, and feet. They washed whenever they entered the tent of meeting or approached the altar, as the Lord commanded Moses. Then Moses set up the courtyard around the tabernacle and altar and put up the curtain at the entrance to the courtyard. And so Moses finished the work, the glory of the Lord. Then the cloud covered the tent of meeting, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. Moses could not enter the tent of meeting because the cloud had settled on it, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. In all the travels of the Israelites, whenever the cloud lifted from above the tabernacle, they would set out. But, the but if the cloud did not lift, they did not set out until the day it lifted. So the cloud of the Lord was over the tabernacle by day, and fire was in the cloud by night, in the sight of all the Israelites during all their travels. So that was the book of Exodus. We just finished Exodus 39 through 40. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. If you're new, consider subscribing. Glory be to the Lord, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.